Hey, this is Nate's wife again. Today we're going to be canning some Fiesta Salsa Mix using the ball recipe. What you first want to do is you want to peel all of your tomatoes. I have about 10 pounds of tomatoes here. And to do that, you just take each tomato, take off the stem and little green stuff, and then mark a little X on the bottom and rinse it off and stick it into some boiling water for about 20 seconds and then stick it in some ice cold water and let them cool all the way down. Some say, some people say just like five minutes, but however long you want to do it. Sit down. All right, so the water's boiling. I'm gonna dump all the tomatoes into the boiling water. I, I fill about half full so that it doesn't overflow hopefully, and I'm going to let it go for about 30 seconds for these larger tomatoes. You want the skins to start peeling off just a little bit, and then we'll put them in the ice cold water after we drain it. Alright, so we uh, took the, wa the tomatoes out of the boiling hot water and we st are sticking them in the ice water. They see the peels just come right off and that's all you got to do. It's as easy as that. Some of them you do have to peel out a little bit more, but it should just fall right off the tomatoes. So next you need to dice all the tomatoes into small pieces that look like it would go good for salsa. That's a lot of slicing. And this is Nate's way of slicing the tomatoes after uh, we've already cut about 30 or 40 tomatoes. This is the quick way to do it. Alright, so making for making eight pints of the salsa, you need three fourths of a cup of vinegar and then the whole bottle of the mix combined with the tomatoes. You let it you bring it to a boil and then you let it simmer for five minutes. Alright, so our salsa is ready to be canned. You just need to stick it in there and you want to have about a half an inch of space between the jar and um, to the top. Of this one's a little bit full. But about a half an inch from the top of the jar. Alright, the salsa is in the jars. Now you just want to wipe the rims with a clean towel or paper, paper towel and then stick the lid on there and tighten the rims finger tight. So just like that. And once you got your rings on finger tight, you'll put them in the boiling water bath canners. Um, make sure to splash a little vinegar in there just so you don't get the water deposits, the mineral deposits on the outside of your cans. And then with this recipe, it's 35 minutes at the altitude we're at you might need to adjust it up or down depending on where you are but yeah we'll just let these process for 35 minutes pull them out and hopefully they all seal